The first game of the tournament from Thompson Arena is the 8th ranked Maine Black Bears against the 18th ranked RIT Tigers. Possession, that's Carter Wilkie spinning around. Gonsalves, they tried to set up Laskowski in front. It gets broken up. Here comes Josh Nadeau to Bradley Nadeau. Oh. Bradley, great move. Bradley shot, saved by Scarfoni. Rebound still loose and finally covered up by... Nicholas Nemo in the corner, transfer from Bentley, one of two Bentley transfers on this Black Bears roster. Friel alone in front. He'll get that down in behind the goal line. He looks to get it through the slot, and it's Friel again. That time he missed the net on the one-timer. Chabrier scores! Brandon Chabrier from the right point. Scarfoni didn't see it. And just 3.06 into the game, Maine has a lead. Want to point out the screen by Harrison Scott as well, the junior of Bentley transfer. He was the one in front when Chabrier took that shot and really gave no chance for Scarfoni to see it. He had two goals last time out for Maine against Bentley, including the winner. That one just misses up high. Got Wild big, shoots in. Got big guys in this RIT defense like Anderson, 6'3", 200 pounds. Dangerous play <laughs> there. And now Ben Poisson's going to take the puck. It squirts toward the middle. He has it on his back. And he shoots and just missed. 2023 best defenseman in Atlantic hockey last year. Saved by Ostman there on the wrist shot by Grady. Love being with a big green. Love seeing Maine here too. And here comes Breen giving to Josh. And back to Breen. And his one-timer missed the net. And on the other number six, Matthew Wild with the puck here. Scholey. And that one is stopped. Brazil ahead. They find Josh Nadeau. Josh for Breen, the shot just missed the short side. Bradley Nadeau hit off the puck by Hobbs, and the first period comes to a close. The early goal by Brandon Chabrier standing up. Been pretty seamless to kind of come in and uh, take the rocking chair next to you in this contest for the Black Bears and the Tigers. Second period underway, and a huge hit by Micro Giannakis on Friel. Harrison Scott lost the handle as he tried to bring it in. Now a breakaway chance for Isabel. Backhander missed to the short side. Knocked down, though, by Casero. As it's played back ahead by RIT, turned over. Here's the break and the score! It's Carter Wilkie, exactly who Maine did not want to turn it over to. And RIT ties it early in the second. And those turnovers near the blue line kill you, don't they? And you're right, the guy you don't want to give the puck to if you're a main black bear in a situation like that is Carter Wilkie. That's his eighth goal of the season, points in five out of six. He's the reigning Atlantic Hockey Association Player of the Year. You can't give him that opportunity, Tigers fans, but that fan section's been legendary since the D3 days. And with the puck, wild off the post, rebound, back out front, somehow doesn't find the net that time. And it is Maine that controls in the quick shot by Nicholas Nemo, but Scarfoni had it red. Friel got a touch, Hool gathers. Donovan Hool, that pass split the D, Chabrier stopped, rebounds loose, Maine digs and Scarfoni's able to hold it out. Yeah, they won back to back Fred Page Cups there. Bradley Nadeau was the league uh, regular season and playoff MVP last year. Bradley to Josh, they score! <laughs> it only takes that for the Nadeau brothers. Bradley with his 11th of the season and Maine is back in front. Sorry RIT fans, you call that the announcer's jinx. I, I didn't use the disclaimer so far when I mentioned the Nadeau's kept off the score sheet, but that's how quickly things turn. Quick turnover in the offensive zone, the give and go passing and just like that, boom, into the back of the net. Tommy Scarfoni, all he could do there, but really no chance on it. Another turnover near the blue line. Those could be so deadly. And just watch this passing. These guys, they just have that kind of ESP. That Which is Miami. Yeah, most people know that one more. That one got knocked down in front. Sully Scholey with the shot. All of a sudden, uh, one opportunity. They cash it in and lead again. Scholey oh. off the post. What a rip that was from the right circle. Chabrier to Bradley Nadeau. Bradley to Chabrier. Bradley with the one-timer, and it missed the net. Takes a look, finds Bradley, top of the left circle. Bradley Nadeau, wrist shot, that one off of Hobbs and wide. Fukakuza comes out of the box as we return to five-on-five -five play. Donovan Hool trying to find Scott, the backhander. Oh. He scores! 
Not sure that was what Harrison Scott meant, but it works just the same, and Maine is ahead 3-1. to one. Great hands by Harrison Scott, the former Bentley Falcon. Best face-off man in the nation. Well, he's a good goal scorer, too, with hands like this. Just watch what he does here. This is behind him. He just kind of turns around and flicks it on goal, top corner. Maine once again flips the game on a goal by the Nadeau brothers, Bradley scoring it from his brother Josh, and now Harrison Scott getting into the act. Turn over there, and they score again! For the Black Bears, it's Felix Trudeau this time. Maine has broken it open in the second period. It's 4-1. You just can't make mistakes like this against the Black Bears, and it's not just the Neto line that can burn you. Harrison Scott, the second line center scoring, and now it's Felix Trudeau, number 17, the third line center. Just sloppy play. They turn it over in the defensive zone and left, right, in front turned it out. We didn't have much room. You'll see more depth scoring as you're seeing here tonight. Look here, out again. Two on one here. Lyndon Breen takes it to the net himself and Scarfoni shuts the door. Now a five on three for ten more seconds. They had that backwards. It wasn't a four on four. It was a five on three. Great aggressive blocker save by Osman though. When you come out and just punch it away like that, you know the goalie's seeing the puck well. Now to a normal five on four, and they score! Putting that one home is Matthew Wild just rippling the net there. RIT getting back to within two. One of those three Mississauga players that come in his first year for the Tigers, Matthew Wild, his sixth goal of the season. He's been hot and a slow start to his RIT career, but now points in nine of his last 12 games, and all six of his goals this season coming in that span. Just again, five on three, plenty of space for Wild. Advance, shoot, and no chance for Osmond on that. Harrison Scott, Lesikowski back to Harrison Scott again. Scott, pass in Ooh. front, and Scarfoni denies Freel. Cool to Lesikowski, half wind up, save Scarfoni, rebound stopped again by Scarfoni on Harrison Scott. Freel already has one assist. This line has been very, very good as we see some Pushing and grabbing, that's Thomas Friel for the Black Bears, and he's mixed up with Xavier Lapointe. As Jacques will have to serve the full five minutes. Bradley Nadeau looking in front, finds the shot for Poisson that gets stopped by Scarfoni. Josh Nadeau to Lyndon Breen. Breen comes in right wing, gets it across to Bradley, looking for Josh in front, it was broken up to kill it with Isabel and Hobbs turned over, saved by Ooh. Scarfoni as Bradley Nadeau had the backhander right in front. Back to Friel. Chabrier, Rister finds Breen, turns, gives to Bradley Nadeau, Rister saves Scarfoni, the rebound waved at. And now Hool looking in front, broken up. Scholey the quick shot though, saved by Scarfoni. Made some big saves here in this period to keep RIT within touching distance. Pabich down the left wing, in he comes. Pabich shot, oh. saves Scarfoni. Rebound in the final seconds will tick off the clock here in the second period. Uh, that deep, and the puck loose. RIT's got it back to centering feed, oh. and unable to pull the trigger on it was Fukakuza. Ladles it back behind the goal, taken instead though by Hobbs. The one-timer by Blom, redirected wide. I don't know if Osman saw that. Maine's got it. The penalty to Pabich ends, and the Black Bears come in. It's Pabich with the puck, the wrist shot, knocked away by Scarfoni with the blocker, held in by Brazil, coming down the wing, poked away from him, Hanson tries it. Scarfoni knocked it over top. Penalty coming against the Tigers. Antonacci with it here, extra man on. The shot by Breen, fought off by Scarfoni. Third period, score is the same as at the start of the period. 4-2 Maine. To the front, and denied is Cole Hansen. As Antonacci toward the end of a shift couldn't catch up to it. Moretz with the shot, Osman with the save. This off man for the Tigers, 54% on the season. Harrison Scott to Friel, who gets denied by Scarfoni. He has been very close on a few occasions. RIT forcing the offensive zone turnover. Laskowski had it knocked away by Houle. Donovan Houle, one on three, still likes the odds, and he just missed the net. Out Muslim, Jacques will dig it free. Sully Scholey back in for Maine. Sully Scholey all the way in, oh. but Scarfoni 
keeps it out. Lather couldn't keep it on his stick. Two on one now for RIT. Hobbs shot blocked by the dive of Chabrier. Wow. Now it's Josh Nadeau in again. Josh to Breen. Looking back for Josh. Can't quite reel it in. Now Bradley to Breen and Scarfoni oh. had to deflect that out of play with his glove. Wild brings in. Here comes Scarfoni to the bench fairly slowly. He's off now. Extra attacker on with a minute 41 to go. But he tried to force it. Leskoski goes cross ice. Intercepted by Bradley Nadeau jumping on the ice. Harrison Scott missed Ooh. the empty net. Hool chases it down. It Maine's got it back. David Brazil for Bradley Nadeau for the empty net. It's the goal. And it's two for Bradley Nadeau and a three goal main lead. A dozen now on the season for number 82 of the Maine Black Bears. They'll be playing tomorrow for the Ledyard Championship. Brazil with the steal. But Nadeau automatic from that distance with no goaltender. Maine has won five straight and advances to the championship game of the Ledger Classic. Makes their horde of traveling fans very happy. Maine always brings fans whenever they play on the road. Tonight, no exception, plenty of white and blue in the crowd tonight. 